I'm not surprised that Charlemagne would be like, well, don't critique them, critique the white man because he want to be the white man. Let's go to Charlemagne industry when it comes to Hollywood when it comes to you know calling out a system when are y'all gonna start calling out the people who really control things you know uh when y'all gonna start calling out folks with the real power because contrary to the nigga net's popular belief the real power isn't coming from any of those negroes cat was talking about dj envy is stupid and i don't listen to him but it's funny it's funny because that sounds like something an industry plant would say <laughs> That sounds like something a gatekeeper would say. What are you talking about? If we're talking about Diddy, a billionaire on paper, right? We're talking about Steve Harvey, who has hundreds of millions of dollars. We're talking about people who at least have tens of millions of dollars, who have the ability to serve as gatekeepers. They have the ability to serve as the people who create the first barriers to other people getting on. Obviously, we should always have, if we are critiquing systems of power, we should be able to critique it at every level. And just because there is a bigger boss does not mean that you, as the underling doing the work for the bigger boss, don't deserve any kind of scrutiny or pushback. Again, the only reason why somebody would say, no, don't critique the person with $200 million, critique this other person, is if you want to... Baby, I've been saying this! Bro, go back. Go back to my Billionaires Don't Need Your Protection video on this channel. People will do so much to run interference for people who have enormous wealth and power celebrities who decide to become the faces of these huge systems. You chose that because you want to be the face. I'm not surprised that Charlemagne would be like, well, don't critique them, critique the white man because he want to be the white man. And that's why we will continue to critique you because we see it. It's transparent. The desire for the acquisition of power is naked. It is so clear, crystal, transparent. We get it. You're going to get the smoke too, for sure. Someone said years ago that Charlemagne should not be the voice he is in the community. It might have been you, yet he persists. It's me. It's, I know I've seen Julesy say this. I've seen so many other content creators say this. Charlemagne is not smart, thoughtful, well-read, intellectually astute enough to be a political commentator. Anybody can give their opinions on anything, but there is something that is, um, I think, particularly problematic and that reflects really poorly on, honestly, how the white gatekeepers view Black people, that Charlemagne would be elevated to ever think of himself as some kind of trusted voice on politics in black America. Because the other thing about the Breakfast Club is they be letting all kinds of scammers on there. Baby, if you do not have the wherewithal, the thoughtfulness, the intellectual acuity to make sure scammers don't show up on your platform regularly, you cannot be a voice for black America. Mm -mm. If the feds are raiding your office, because you got roped in with the scammer to defraud regular people in some weird real estate Ponzi scheme, you cannot be the voice of Black America. You cannot. Charlemagne falling into the whataboutism tells me he has nothing intellectual to say on any subject, right? Charlemagne is dumb. The end. It matters. Who is accepting these shady deals? They are not victims. They made choices. Filed by greed. Cat choose to create his own lane and make money. Now, I will say, I do not think Charlemagne is dumb. I think that there is a difference between being dumb and not having the range to dip your toe into every conversation 
particularly the dense public policy conversations. It feels to me, and you know, I don't know him, I don't know him, I don't know him, but I say all the time that I would not be able to do this job over here or at For Harriet if I was not deeply committed to study. I literally have time blocked off every single day. Wait, where's my... Oh my gosh, this is so funny, right? So I uh, am using this new productivity system, right? Where the different parts of... So anyways, every single part of my life is a different color, right? And education, which is the time that I block off every single day to learn things, is orange. And so today, actually, I've been doing a lot of study, right? So we see the notes here. We see the orange and the notes, right? We see the orange and the notes, okay? It is my responsibility as a person who shows up in public and talks about all kinds of things to be knowledgeable. That's, I chose this job and a part of me doing this job is being smart and thoughtful and well-read. I do get annoyed when people who choose this job do not take on that responsibility. So I do think that that deserves some interrogation. Absolutely. But I think that, you know, the way that he has maneuvered his career in other ways, not dumb, really smart. It's got him to where he is. It's just some of that, some of that stuff is just ridiculous. Mark Lamont knows what he's talking about when it comes to Palestine and geopolitics. And that is something that I appreciate about Mark Lamont Hill is obviously a teacher and has a doctorate. So had to do some kind of formal study, but also can go back and forth between really serious conversations that you have to be well read on to comment thoughtfully. And, you know, the light, fun, frivolous, because we contain multitudes, but, you know, be serious. 